Um, yes, ma'am. I'm calling. My name is Anna Anders. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Good. I'm a loco peace activist, and the reason for my call, um, I'm a loco peace activist, and I'm calling Metro Toyota, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so here's my question, honey. Um, is the salesman or somebody available that I could talk to? Hey, Darlene. Um, my name is Anna Anders. I'm a local peace activist here actively in corrupt Cleveland, Ohio. My family story is the Cleveland abduction story. That story was obstructed for 10 years. They had Ariel Castro's license plate number. But I'm calling you for a different reason today here. Um, I'm calling you because I have a question and a concern. Just being a regular citizen of this country, you know how they showed us the, um, the ISIS crisis with the terrorists driving the white Toyota trucks? Uh, my question is, when Toyota puts out vehicles, and by the way, my sister used to work for Metro Toyota there on Park Road, but uh, but what I want to say, her name is Jackie Roman, um, but what I want to say is when they put these uh, ISIS crisis terrorist truck drivers in the Middle East, don't those, uh, don't, doesn't Toyota put VIN numbers on all their vehicles? I would imagine they do. Right. So what I'm saying is, couldn't they just follow the VIN numbers back to Toyota to see who Toyota to see who Toyota sold those trucks to? I honestly don't have an answer to that question. I wish I did. But well, but, lo but now let me ask you this, though. Locally, if I bought a vehicle from you, ma'am, you'd sell me a vehicle with a VIN number, and, and those records would be at Metro Toyota there to, to verify, right? That is true. That is true. Um, and what is your name again? I'm sorry, sweetie. My name is Darlene. Darlene, my name is Anna Anders, and I'm on the YouTube channel. And, and my part of the story, they will not show on corrupt Main Street media. So, and the people are, that are trying to scare us with all this false flag terrorism are the same people that did 9-11 and are the same exact people that covered up the Cleveland abduction story and are the same people that are exploiting that story, too. So, um, but I'm so grateful to be back home here and to con be continuing to do my peace activism work. And thank you for letting me be long-winded, and I appreciate your feedback on this today. Well, you are very welcome. It was a pleasure speaking with you as well, and um, good luck. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, and check out my YouTube channel when you get a chance, honey. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right,